I do a lot of videos. You know I do a lot of videos because you watch all of my videos, right? You might be worrying, Chris, you're going to run out of ideas for videos, but fear not because I've got a long, long list of ideas that I just never get to. In my email client, in Mutt, I have a mailbox that is just for ideas. Anytime I have an idea for a video uh, that I can't record right away, I email myself and I save it to that mailbox. And going just a little bit up, I mean, there's a big long list. Here is one from November 12th, 2018. And again, this isn't even very far on the list. It's four and a half years old. I am going to show you how to make patterns in your shell. This is pretty much useless. It's just for fun. Although maybe you'll learn something new along the way. Let's look at the shell here. Now you're probably familiar with the sequence command or the SEQ command. Uh, you can give it like zero or one to 10 and it will count for you. You can give it one to 20. You can tell it to start at five. You can start, start at whatever number you want and it will count those for you. You may not realize that you don't need to give it a beginning number. If you want to start at one, you can just give it a number and it will count from one to that number. So there's 10 and there's 15. Now by default, it puts each number on a new line. So it gives a number and a new line character. Well, you can tell it to use a different character. If you do dash S and then in quotations, give it a character like dash, it will use dashes instead of new lines. Uh, or you can do a pipe character. You can also do multiple characters, so I can do dash pipe dash, and it'll do that for you. And we're going to use this uh, to create a pattern in the background of the screen without having to use any while or for loops, which is going to be nice because loops can be slow. Now, if I was to take that same uh, example, I'll run it again. So there we go. We have uh, our numbers 1 through 15 with a dash pull, uh, pipe dash in between each number. I can also use the TR command. Now the TR command I use a lot. I've mentioned it before. If you just need to replace a single character, the TR command is great. It's a, a bit easier to use than say said. So you can just say replace all A's with B's or all dashes with commas, whatever. But you can also tell it to delete characters with dash D. So for example, I can say uh, that same command before, but I can say dash D and say delete all the dashes. So it will just remove all the dashes for us. But I could also tell it uh, 0 9, and that will remove all numbers, all numeric characters. So, as you can see, we're now getting a pattern. Now, if I was to do that and I was to make a fun little pattern like this underscore forward slash dot dot backslash, but I want the backslash is in this case uh, escaping that quotation mark there and so I actually need to do two backslashes for one backslash uh, I can do this and we get this neat little pattern well if I was to turn up this number from 15 to let's say 9999 nice big number I did something wrong uh, but it's supposed to look like um, a honeycomb that might be the uh, there we go it was just the resolution of my screen. Look, we have a little honeycomb pattern. That's nice. Uh, let's go ahead and run that again. Oh, there we go. But we can do other patterns too. We can come in here and we can change this. We can do a few low slashes and a pipe. And hey, we got a brick wall in the shell. Didn't have to use any loops, no while loops, for loops, or other loops like that. Uh, we could also take that and we can go another pipe. And again, I'm just having fun here. Uh, I'm going to go like this. And there we have a brick wall, but instead of the bricks going this way, the bricks are going this way. There's actually a 7-Eleven in my town that the, out, the bricks outside on the wall are like that. I don't know who lays bricks like that. That's just weird. Uh, anyway, uh, you can do you know a bunch of different patterns, whatever you can come up with. And if you come up with some good ones, let me know. There's uh, This one I always thought kind of looks like a, a, like a weaved wicker basket or something like that. And you can put other characters in there too. Uh, you can do Unicode characters. Let me copy a Unicode character over here, the little s square here. There we go. So you can just fill your shell full of stuff. Um, and I'm sure as long as you have the proper fonts installed, you could probably uh, do emojis and or emojicons. There's a difference. I can never remember. It doesn't matter. Anyway, again, uh, this is kind of useless besides just you know creating patterns in your shell. But maybe you learned something new about the the sequence command or the tr command that you didn't know before. Uh, if so, you learned something new, and that's awesome. If not, hey, you learned a new trick that's useless. So thanks for watching. As always, visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. There's a link in the description. And uh, now I can delete this email. And um, yeah, I still have a long list. Don't worry. I'm not going to run out of any ideas anytime soon.
Have a great day.